welcome to Tack It Up. I'm Hillary, and today we are going to go over the five reasons why car dads are the best in honor of Father's Day. And I know I promised you all the Yeti Yvette spec video. It is in the works. I promise it'll be posted soon. But today we are going to pause and honor dads. So I'm going to share with you some stories about my dad um, and my experience growing up in a car family. I would love it if you guys comment down below on uh, stories from growing up with your dads or how your dad got you into cars or maybe you have a father figure who is not your dad who helped get you into the car hobby. I would love to hear all of that down below. Uh, please share those stories. We want to hear from you. Without further ado, we will get into the five reasons why car dads are the best. And the first reason is they save you money. So they help you learn how to change your oil. They rotate your tires. Sometimes dads do this for you, but if they're playing the long game, they teach you how to do it so you can save yourself money through your whole life. And I don't know if anybody else has had this experience or how many times in their lifetime they've had to do this, but I personally, whenever there's a weird noise coming from my car or something seems off, I call my dad and I go, hey dad, um, there's this weird noise coming from my engine. Can you listen to it? And like, okay, what do, what do you think it is? Like, what's wrong? <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times my dad has come over and looked at something that I couldn't figure out on my own uh, and saved me tons of time and money going to the shop. And usually once he figures it out, he helps me fix it, which is an added bonus. And it doesn't stop there. My friends have learned that if I can't solve their car problem, which I have from time to time, um, that I will call my dad and he will come over and he will figure out what's wrong with their car for them. So not only has he saved me money, but he saved countless of my friends money as well. So that is why the first reason car dads are the best is they save you money. Number two, car dads are creative. Um, I personally grew up with a father who believes that you should always have the right tool for the job and it makes it very difficult to buy him presents for say his birthday, Father's Day or Christmas when you know his main hobby is car things and he owns every tool known to man when it comes to cars. I get very excited when I find a tool my father does not have that I think he will use because it rarely happens. Usually I find something I'm like no dad has this. Now my dad has this and he's like Hey, I got 12 in the drawer. If you ever need to borrow one, you know, that's where they're at. And I just go, oh, like dummy. But anyway, but many times my dad comes over to my house to help me work on my cars. And he's looking through my toolbox. He's like, hey, Hillary, where's this? And I'm like, uh, I don't have that tool. Was I supposed to have that tool? And my dad's like, all right, that's what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> but... Without fail, my father comes up with a backup plan. Dads always have a backup plan. They are problem solvers, they are creative thinkers, and they will look through your toolbox and figure out how to make a crescent wrench and a piece of pipe work to solve your problem. Without fail, dads are creative. Don't let them fool you. Number three, never giving up. So. I cannot tell you how many times I have gone to my dad being like, you know, I'm done. I can't solve this problem with my car. You know, this bolt's just not going to come loose or, you know, I'm having a bad day at the track and it's like, you know, I just can't seem to get anything right. You know, my tire pressure's all over the place or I can't keep my temperatures right or whatever, or I'm just not cutting lights. And, you know, dads are really good about like taking you by the shoulders and giving you a pep talk and telling you what you need to hear, whether you want to hear it or not. And, you know, basically like patting you on the back and being like, go, go out there, try again. You know, dads never let you give up. Uh, and I think that's a wonderful thing because, you know, personally, there's a lot of things that without that support and encouragement, I could have given up on, including this YouTube channel. I mean, there's lots of haters out there and, you know, it doesn't matter when people say shitty things to me online because my dad's like, hey, ignore them. Keep going. You're doing great. Number four, dads help you follow your dreams. Back in 2018 on Father's Day, uh, my mom and my brother were out of town. So I called up my dad and said, hey dad, what do you want to do for Father's Day? And he's like, you know, 
I've been wanting to go to the drag strip and it keeps getting rained out every time your mom and I try and go. So can we go today? It looks like they're running. I said, yeah, let's go. So we're there um, and we're hanging out and I start thinking and I'm like, hey, there's this family that I know that races. Uh, I used to work with their dad and hey, let me text them and see if they're in the pits. Like, let's go hang out and ask them about like how they run. Cause I kept hearing their last name being played when, you know, cars would go down the track and I'm like, I bet that's his kids. So anyway, we walked over um, and we started talking to this family and you know, I, I knew the father pretty well and I got to know his kids that day and they were like, oh, you could totally do this. Like, and they started explaining to me about how they got into drag racing and you know, kind of the ins and outs of what bracket racing looks like. And I left there that day. My dad had a great time. He loved talking to my coworker about him and his family racing. And I was like, dad, I want to do this. I want to drag race. Um, and my dad's like, okay, like you want to drag race? He's like, this is awesome. He's like, I'll be your crew chief. Like we'll figure it out. And lucky for me, I already had the, the basic things I needed. I already had the helmet and fire suit. I had a C5 Corvette. I still have my black C5 Corvette. And you know, I just started running it on street tires and learning how to bracket race. And you know, my dad just helped me figure it out. And definitely that family that we met that day helped us figure it out. And here I am two years later following my dream and getting better and better. I never would have thought two years ago today that I would be doing something I love so much. And I have my dad to thank for that because without him, his support, his encouragement, you know, I never would be where I am today. And I'm sure all of you have things like that in your life, whether it's in the car hobby or outside where your dad, you know, financially supported you or encouraged you to follow your dreams, uh, even when they seemed so far away. So thank you, dad, for doing that for me. Number five, dads teach you the value of hard work. And so my situation is a little unique in this. Um, my parents about 30 years ago started a car parts business and it was born out of my dad, you know, trying to find parts to restore his Corvette and certain things he really struggled to find. And when he found them, he said, Hey, I know there's other people, you know, friends of mine and people I don't know who are struggling to find these same parts too. And so it was kind of right back at the birth of the internet as we know it before the kind of the dot com boom. And my parents just started selling you know, the extra parts that they had for my dad's build or things that they felt were hard to find, you know, and they created this business called Quanta Products and has since gotten the, the moniker gastanks.com um, as their website. And so they started that before I was born, um, just out of their love of cars. And I've watched my parents um, invest in that and work hard and do late hours and drive cross country to car shows and things like that just because it's something that they love and something they're passionate about. They've reinvented the business two or three times and right now we're kind of in the midst of one of those times too, especially with me getting into drag racing. We're shifting and adding more performance stuff like the Holly parts and the RPM roll bars. Um, and I just think it's really cool. I've learned so much from watching my parents turn something that was a hobby into something that has helped support my family throughout my life. And I truly value watching their hard work, not only on you know completing car builds and things like that, but also on building a business around something they love. And I just have so much respect for that. Um, and I think I've learned more than I ever could quantify from watching my parents do that. Yeah, that's a little bit of my story. I know some of you guys have been asking me to get my dad in on these videos and I will. Uh, he was out of town today visiting my brother so I couldn't just like pull him in here and like ask him hard questions. But maybe next year for Father's Day, uh, I'll, I'll hold dad to that. Dad, I'm signing you up. Um, but anyway, but I'll be sure to add um, my dad into some more future videos as well. I'm sure you've seen some of the photos that I've added into this video already. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you liked it, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for more fun content like this. And you can follow us on other forms of social media. We're on Instagram at tack underscore it underscore up. If TikTok's the thing you do, I'm on TikTok at tack underscore it underscore up underscore Hillary. You can find us on Facebook at tack it up. 
And you can also check out our family business website if that's something you're interested in. My recommendation is to go to gastanks.com. That's the best way to find it. Thanks guys. Have a great week and happy Father's Day. Mm -hmm.